Okay. Wonderful. We are recording and it is 12 o'clock top of the hour right now. So let's go ahead and start. I'm just going to do a very brief welcome to everyone. And thank you so, so, so much for being here today. It's uh, This has been a long time in coming. I've wanted to do this for years and years and years, truly, um, since 2009, when I started to first really delve into what was this all about, it was this, this whole new world. And these world, it's a world where people seem very angry and upset with each other, despite this amazing information. It's like, what is up with that? So so now that I've gotten into it, I'm just I'm just at a place where it's like, let's what can we do? We've been through the past almost three years of a global change, and that has not been helpful for anyone or or fun or anything. So we've seen more division than ever on our planet, more polarization. And so I for for me and my belief system, it's you know, the power of intention and prayer is huge huge and it's how we can start to make a shift and so this has been this is in the plan been in the planning for the past two months or so so I'm really really thankful that it's now happening and I've had um so that we're here to help to infuse new intent and energy positive positive energy and healing energy into the GNM GHK community around the world that's that's the only goal here. There's no agenda. There's no hidden agenda. There's nothing. It's just let's be together. Let's come together as community. And what can we do to help to help infuse it with more more positiveness? So I have helping me today is um, leading the ceremony today is Amy Green um, and Amy. We're, yep, she's right there. Hopefully, yep, hopefully you just saw her. And so welcome, Amy. I'm so grateful that you're able to be part of this and to really take the reins and move forward with this and for helping me to manifest this. It really means a lot to me. So please, everyone, welcome Amy. And I'm basically going to give it to her at this point. So. Well, thanks, Andy. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. If I haven't been on a call with you, many of you look really familiar to me. Um, as Andy said, um, I, I personally just brought this idea forward and it sounded like lots of other people have had this same idea. So um, to, I said, yes, I'll organize and, and lead today. But Andy, I'm, I feel like I'm opening the invitation up for anyone else that feels called that would like to facilitate if you know, you're know you welcome to. This isn't mine. I just shared an idea. So um, yeah, and I'm just going to take us through a little you know, flow today. And there'll be time for you to speak your intentions and I'll give you a little guidance around that. And then we'll do um, just a heart based, um, you know, meditation and visualization to um, see our and feel most importantly, feel our intentions um, come to life, you know, as if they're already manifested. So again, I'll just take you through all that. Um, I'm in Eugene, Oregon. And like I said, I've been studying with Andy for about a year. And I'm newer to this work in this community, but I feel the power and the truth and the wisdom and um, recognize that all of us, we are we're wisdom keepers. And if we can learn this information and, and help other people, it will truly bring um, healing for ourselves and for the world. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> and I'm an energy, um, I do energy work and I'm a sound therapist. So I mentioned I'll have an instrument that I'll play during our meditation. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me and we're ready to get started. Um, so if you, and I will encourage you to close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. Um, and we're just gonna have a little uh, prayer and just an intention and a moment to bring ourselves fully present, letting go of the outside world for just a few minutes. So we come together with love in our hearts and compassion and joy for our community and for the community at large and specifically for the wisdom and the teachings that came through Dr. Hammer and that we are blessed and honored to 
learn and be able to work with. And our intention today, as Andy stated, is just to bring our, our good energy, our, our best wishes and best thoughts and feelings forward for the community as a whole. And we're praying for healing for everyone involved, for anyone that this knowledge touches. Thank you for being here. Amen. And so it is. <laughs> um, and let's see, Andy and I chose a few quotes that I wanted to share and just read and kind of set our, our tone here. And they come from the many, um, it's basically the golden rule um, from the many different uh, religious traditions throughout the world. So in, in Buddhism, they say, hurt not others with that which pains yourself. In Christianity, we say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Hinduism, treat others as you would treat, as, as you would yourself be treated. In Islam, do unto all men as you would wish to have done unto you. Judaism, what you yourself hate do to no man. Native Americans say live in harmony for we are all related. And the sacred earth traditions would say do as you will as long as you harm no one. And so now we want to open it up for everyone to have an opportunity to speak their intention if you would like. Um, otherwise, you can hold it in your heart. Again, we want to we want to speak these in the present tense as if they are manifested currently. So it's not something in the future. It's not about the past. It's for right now. And so I will go first and just kind of share. Um, and my my vision is one of harmony for our global community and I can see everyone working together in a spirit of cooperation, sharing and learning together. So, and I think we can go popcorn style or you could raise your hand if that feels more. <laughs> Maybe unmute yourself and just speak your intention. Oh, I'll go. My uh, intention for this, for learning all of this is to uh, share and um, change my family history um, for my grandchildren and my children, but especially for my grandchildren. And they're still young. So I believe I'm already starting with the little bitty stuff that I do know, which is pretty small, but um, that's what my intention is. And so I believe that the more um, people hear about this and learn about this, that the disharmony won't be as off as as uh, prevalent, maybe, um, and that people do start to look that we're all different, but we all have our own wisdom. I love that the wisdom within you. That's beautiful. Um. Mine is just is three words: truth, respect, and integrity. Mm. Dorothy. I'll go. My intention is envisioning um, a GHK world where people wholeheartedly embody it and embrace it, where they feel safe to share it, what to share what they know with others and without fear of retribution, and where people can live their lives in alignment with their own biology. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andy. Well, I'll go. Um, <clears throat> my intention is for openness and acceptance and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a sense of freedom, freedom to explore and to learn and to make mistakes.
my desire is that we always keep evolving through everything. And mine is my daily blessings of highest and greatest good to each and every sentient being on earth on their paths of evolution and enlightenment, whatever they are. <laughs> but yes, harmony is the big focus for this one, I think. Thank you so much. I have plenty of time for all of you to share. <laughs> Please Hi, go. my name is Patty. My vision is, from, is for, for my family to heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually, to be wise in walking in the light. Thank you, Patty. Missy? My intention for today is to help uh, to send out into the universe more generosity and help um, balance some of the massive amount of greed that's out there. Thank you. Hi, this is Mark. And my intention is to share the stories of people who have successfully used uh, German healing knowledge and, uh, and may it reach the, the people who have the eyes and the ears ready to hear it. Mm. Thank you, Mark. Deb? My intention is um, <clears throat> to help plant seeds so that others can realize um, the incredible intelligence of these biological systems and, um, <clears throat> and, and hopefully get people to be less, less resistant to having a completely different perspective, mm -hmm. one that um, removes fear and and is expansive hi my name is tanya um i would like to see this move into building unity and a tight-knit community globally that we all live with less fear. Love that we would all love. Did we have anything submitted, Andy? Nothing came through that I saw, yeah. unless it just came through in the past few hours and I haven't been able to check. There was um, something that Adriana had written that I thought was really beautiful. And I just feel like it would be nice to, in to include her words here, if that's okay with you. Of course. Um, let's see, she wrote, everyone is getting along and lots of people know about GNM and use it to help themselves and people are happy and understand how life works. When GNM is mentioned, everyone gets a positive feeling of integrity and love. Everyone knows about the amazing discoveries from Dr. Hammer and they understand what he learned. I thought that was really beautiful. Yeah. Who is Adriana? Can you speak to who that is? Um, I know several, so I'm not sure which one that is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Would anyone else like to share anything verbally before we do a little visualization or meditation short? Your words are welcome. Otherwise, okay. 
I would like to share one thing, Amy, before. Oh, please. If you, if you're familiar with uh, Dr. Uh, David Hawkins' book, Power Versus Force, mm -hmm. was written a long time ago, but he calibrated the, the effects or the power of the different levels of consciousness. And so you can kind of find yourself on his chart if you, if you want to, but one positive thought, one high vibration intention contracts so many negative ones. So, so many, not just your own, but, but the whole global community. So yeah, trying to remember to stay focused on what you want, not what you don't want, not what you don't like, not what you want to change, but you want to manifest is hugely valuable to, to counteract. A lot of people don't even know they're being negative sometimes. It's, it's just their modus operandi. <laughs> and they just think they're supposed to be critical or whatever. But so the, the focus on the higher vibration intentions is hugely valuable. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, Joanne. I have that book on my shelf, but I've never read it. <laughs> but I like the intention behind it. Yeah. Great. So um, at this time, I'll just encourage you to close your eyes or soften your gaze. And basically, we just want to drop if maybe if you're not muted, you could mute that way if there's any background noise. And so we're just going to take just a few short minutes to maybe bring your energy and your focus into your heart and feel into your intention or all the intentions that have been shared today and really feel what does that feel like? The community is living in harmony and there's peace and joy for the knowledge being shared and widely accepted grace and compassion within the community you can use your vision to see it manifest feeling that peace in your body. I'm letting a gentle smile across your face. Feeling your heart open and expansive. 
and holding the vibration and frequency of all of these manifest all of these intentions manifested for the highest good for all people animals all sentient beings in the earth And now taking a moment to feel gratitude. Gratitude for the knowledge of Dr. Hammer, for every person on this call, for all the people sending their good intentions and wishes. As you feel ready, you can open your eyes. It always just feels nice just to come together in a group <laughs> with focused intention. So glad everyone is here. I want to open it up for just a few minutes. If anyone had anything that they wanted to share about that experience um, or any visualizations that came through for you or any additional words that you wanted to share, we'd be happy to unmute yourself and share anything you'd like. Thank you. It was, I felt very peaceful almost as soon as we got into, as soon as you got into it. So thank you for that. You're welcome. I had a um, visualization of the earth, like I'm out in space looking at it. And in the beginning, it was just kind of an earth. And then as we got deeper into it, it just started to glow lighter and lighter and brighter and brighter. And it just felt, it just felt full of love, you know, at the end. So that was wonderful. <laughs> I um, visualized this waves of our intention. I could see them <clears throat> just moving from us out into the world. And it was just this beautiful feeling of the reverberations of our intentions. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Keith McCullough, and I wanted to introduce the Ad Hedgei Risk Range product. What is that? The Risk Range product It's a tool that's designed. <laughs> That was just a word from our sponsor. <laughs> oh. Well, I was just um, feeling into that, going deeper into that feeling of harmony um, and joy. This particular instrument, this chime really brings joy for me. 
<clears throat> I just enjoy it so much, but it also just feels peaceful and soothing and just really feeling into what does it feel like with, with, with all of humanity, you know, and this vibration of, of harmony and helping one another. Um, so that was powerful and beautiful. Anybody else? Thank you for the heart. <laughs> I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And we have a lot to be thankful for, um, especially when we are aware of what's happening out there. And this is a great exercise because it is powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I had another quote that I wanted to share <clears throat> by Margaret Mead, which I'm sure many of you are familiar um, but it just really felt like, oh, this is what we're doing. But um, never underestimate the power of a small group of committed people to change the world. In fact, it is the only thing that ever has. So none of this is in vain. We are all giving of ourselves and of our time in this moment for the betterment of the world. It's not for ourselves. And we are giving this away um, freely with um, our consciousness. and yeah, to try to elevate and help other people. So, so Wonderful. we're all feeling complete. Um, I'll just take a moment to just have some closing words to just, um, I'm just again, I'm filled with gratitude for each person here on this call and anyone who dropped in and has already departed for anyone who's energetically joining us. Um, throughout their day um, on this new moon, <clears throat> which is a wonderful day for just setting intentions and for new beginnings. Um, we can set intentions every day, of course, um, but the new moon just seems to have a little extra, um, a little extra force of nature with it for assisting us. So we're grateful to be together. We're grateful for this opportunity for this time in this space. Grateful that we dropped in to do something positive and beneficial for our community, for the community at large, for GNM, for GHK, for healing, um, for the world, and for that. I am super grateful. So thank you all so much for being here. Andy, if you have anything else that you'd like to share. Yes, Amy, thank you so, so, so much. Um, huge round of applause you know it's like thank you so much for for being here and leading us through this it's uh it has felt very positive and very wonderful i would love to see us doing this more and the new moon is a great time to do it it is a time for new beginnings like amy said it gives us that little extra push and we're about five and a half hours out from the new moon here in the eastern time zone in the u.s um, so I'm just going to ask everyone that it, as you go through the next five and a half hours, even the next 12 hours, just envision the energy that we created here today and moving it forward. And the new moon here is about six o'clock PM. And then we start moving, you know, out of it just slightly. And yet we still have the energy of it. So kind of envisioning that throughout your day would be lovely just to keep this energy going and infusing the harmony and goodness that we've talked about throughout the whole world. And like Amy said at the beginning, if there's anyone who feels called to lead this, please let me know and we'll set another one up. Um, I can't, you know, I can't be in that position, but I'm more than willing to host anyone who's wanting to come forward to, to help this. And so we can just kind of aim for the new moons and, um, you know, I'll send emails out when we find somebody who's ready to do the next one and we'll do it again, hopefully. And hopefully we can have this be a fairly regular occurrence. Um, you know, the energy will simply build on the, the previous times and we'll just keep it going. So I want to thank you all for taking a 30 minutes out of your day to help set this intention and shift the energy on this planet in the GNM GHK community. It is your 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 participation is is hugely valuable and so thank you all all of you for being here and let's hope let's move forward with 
this good intention and to everyone in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving tomorrow and Thanksgiving to everyone around the world, no matter where you live. <laughs> yes. All right. Blessed be. Take care. And a great big group hug, right? <laughs> great big group hug. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Yes. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.